Today we will talk about networks. Networks can be used when you want to host multiple independent payment systems in one Cyclos installation. We use networks in communities.cyclos.org. In this way we can offer free payment systems to communities. In this video I will show you how to create a new network. First we have to go to our Cyclos installation. In this case I am running Cyclos on my local host, so this is the address of Cyclos. Subsequently we have to log in to Cyclos. We can only manage networks when we are a multi-network administrator or when we are the global administrator. In this case I will log in as the global administrator of Cyclos. Make sure no network is selected here. Then go to System Management and Networks. Then you see all the networks that are available in this. By using the Switch To icon you can quickly go to the network. But in this case we will create a new network. Here we can create a new network. Let's give the network the following name. My new network. The internal name cannot contain any strange characters or spaces because it's used for the web services. So let's call it my new network. You can also set the network to enabled. Then people can access the network. When it's not set to enabled, nobody can log into the network and not do anything with it. This network can also be set to be the default network of this Cyclos installation. When it's the default network of this Cyclos installation, it will appear when you go to the URL of the, of the Cyclos installation. So in this case, when you go to localhost 8888, it will show this network when this is selected. You can also change, change the root URL of this network. For example, you can use your own domain, http www slash uh, dot my own domain dot org. You have to point the domain to the IP address of this server. And you also have to adjust the settings of your Tomcat server, but then this network will appear as if it's a separate network, which is very convenient. In this case, we just used the URL of the Cyclos installation. We can change the root path of this, or actually we have to change the root path of this configuration. In this case we will use the root path of the Cyclos installation. So we will use the root path my new network. This root path will then show under HTTP localhost 8888 slash my new network. We can use whatever root path is still available. As a parent configuration, we will use the global default. So this network will be based on this configuration. And also the global administrators can manage this network. It's also possible for other multi-network administrators to manage this network, but they are not here in this current installation. Okay, so we can save the network now, and we can use the switch network to switch to the network, or we can switch to the network by clicking on the switch button in a network list here. Now we're in the network and we can start configuring the network.